This episode is brought to you by Slack. Head on over to slack.com slash bwdaily and take advantage of a limited time offer of 50% off Slack Pro for 90 days. See how a digital headquarters can make your work more flexible, more productive, and more pleasant. From Wondery, I'm David Brown, and this is Business Wars Daily on this Wednesday, July 13th. If you have trouble with change, you might want to brace yourself for today's episode. Last week, Subway unveiled its biggest menu overhaul in 60 years. I told you to brace yourself. The nation's largest sandwich chain announced the so-called Subway Series. This collection of a dozen new subs or grinders or hoagies or whatever you want to call them in your neck of the woods in four different categories can be ordered by name or by number on the new menu. This is the latest in a series of changes that Subway has made. You may recall that last summer it launched the Eat Fresh Refresh menu. With 20 new and refreshed ingredients, that was the biggest change-up in the brand's history up to that time, meant to emphasize the fresh ingredients Subway uses. When Subway opened, they changed the fast food game. But sometimes you gotta refresh to be fresh. Welcome to the Eat Fresh Refresh, where there's so much new, some say you can't fit in one ad. Why so much change? Well, it's all part of an effort to continually improve and, quote, get way better. Subway said in a statement, but Subway's been working on turning around slumping sales for years. At one point, the company had more than 40,000 locations. Oversaturation and issues with ingredient freshness were a couple of the reasons the company began to run into trouble roughly a decade ago, Business Insider reports. It could also be that Subway is feeling the heat from increasing competition. One of the smaller sandwich chains that's coming in hot is Firehouse Subs, The chain was purchased for $1 billion by Burger King owner Restaurant Brands International late last year. In February, the company announced that its fourth quarter same-store sales surged nearly 25% in two years. That's some fast growth in a high-competition category. In addition to the financial muscle of its new owner, Firehouse Subs has a good backstory. The founder, brothers Chris and Robin Sorensen, came from a family that was both entrepreneurial and had given decades of service in police and fire departments. A portion of every firehouse sub-sale goes to the company's Public Safety Foundation, which provides equipment to first responders. That portion is about a tenth of one percent, with a minimum of a million dollars donated per year. But you know, it adds up. Since the foundation started, it has granted nearly $70 million to provide equipment, training, and support to local police, fire, and first aid departments. Of course, Firehouse is still David to Subway's Goliath. Firehouse finished the year with roughly 1,100 stores and a billion dollars in revenue. Subway's store total is more than 30,000 worldwide, and in a recent release, it claims to have beaten its revenue projections by more than a billion dollars. But it didn't say exactly what those projections were, and while the company credited its new menu, critics say that bump was mostly due to inflation, according to the New York Post. Subway is investing a lot in its image and new menu items in an effort to keep competition at bay. But with fast-growing rivals like Firehouse racing onto the scene, time will tell if they can withstand the heat. From Wondery, this is Business Wars Daily. I'm your host, David Brown. Written by Gwen Moran and produced by Jessica Yarmosky. Our executive producers are Tina Rubio and Marshall Luke. I know lots of you might already use Slack to make work happen, but for those who don't, I want to tell you about how Slack has empowered us here at Business Wars Daily. Slack's like our digital home for everything we do that involves Business Wars Daily, from communicating fast updates to a quick huddle between writers and editors, gives us the tools to seamlessly stay connected. Now, if you've been wanting to give Slack your own try with your team, this is the first time Slack has offered this, a limited time offer where you can get 50% off Slack Pro for 90 days. Head to slack.com slash bwdaily and see what your team can accomplish in your own digital headquarters. That's slack.com slash bwdaily. Slack, where the future and where Business Wars Daily works.